Today we're taking a look at the latest release of some AccuSonos plugins, which we did take a look at old versions before. I'm pretty impressed by this, so I'm gonna stop and give the disclaimer of, I'm not making any money off of this whatsoever. And as you can tell from that episode that we shot around eight months ago, I was super impressed with these plugins. They're really cheap and really badass. So when they wanted to partner so we could show off the newest versions for you guys, I was all in. And like last time, I have not really used these yet. So I'm gonna be trying them out right now to put them to the test and see what this one button solution is capable of. Before we do that, another reminder that our action scene challenge is going on right now. This is our one minute action film contest that we're doing with Lacy. You create a one minute action scene, submit, and you could win up to $10,000 in prizes, including a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. So go to collective.lacy.com for more details and get involved. But the way that we're gonna handle this today is Josh has gone out and created a bunch of clips with different audio issues, and I have not seen or heard these clips yet, so I'll be assessing and solving the problems in real time, really putting the speed and quality of these plugins to the test. So let's get started with our first clip in the timeline. So there's no sound. Mm -hmm. Can you fix it? Next clip. I like that boom boom pow. Them chickens jacking my style. They try to copy my swagger. I'm on that next sh now. Is that a Black Eyed Peas song? Yes, yes it is. So that's a bit of an extreme, but let's take a look at volume leveling. In this clip, Josh is going from very loud to very quiet. So the levels are all over the place and we're gonna want to compress that, bringing them all into a nice range. So we're gonna drop on voice leveler on the clip here and immediately it's doing its job. I like that boom, boom, pow. Them chickens jacking my style. They try to copy my swag. You can see down here what it's doing, the yellow showing where it is adjusting the waveform, but this is a bit too aggressive for what we want. So we can pull that down a little bit here and there we go. I like that boom, boom, pow. Them chickens jacking my style. They try to copy my swagger. Nice and leveled. This is especially great for things like podcasts, but really doing anything with this helps cut through the music and sound effects and other things to let your dialogue live on top of everything. Of course, as you can hear, that does bring up the noise floor as well. So we'd want to drop on a noise remover, which we can do next. So I'm gonna grab- No, 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 no. We got, we got some fresh new kicks around here, okay? Pump the clip, my dudes. Translate, I, you want me to go to the yeah, next yeah, clip? Yeah, there's a different clip. That has for noise yeah. removal, okay. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, the bad guy in Aladdin is Jafar. Up above a world so high, Aladdin takes Jasmine. Okay, that's not fixable, but it does bring up the point that plugins aren't magic. If your audio is that extreme, it's just time for ADR. Plugins can be a band-aid, but never a full body cast. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, the bad guy in Aladdin is Jafar. Up above a world so high, Aladdin takes Jasmine on a carpet ride. So we have our scene where unfortunately there was a fan going the entire time and we want to pull that down a bit. So I'm going to drop on my favorite plugin from the last ERA bundle, which is Noise Remover. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. The bad guy in Aladdin is Jafar. Up above a world so high. And right away, it does an impressive job of removing that fan. Down here, we can select the frequency focus to dial in a bit more and all frequency is working best. So we'll just leave it at that. And then it's just about the amount that you want the plugin to attack the noise. We can crank it all the way up and really push that fan out. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. The bad guy in Aladdin is Jafar up above a world so high. But as you're hearing, like with all noise removing plugins, you're going to start getting that warbly sound. So we're gonna pull this down a little bit and find a level that works for us. And if I flip it on and off, you're gonna see just how much this is doing to pull that offending noise out and let the dialogue be our focus. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. The bad guy in Aladdin is Jafar. Up above a world so high, Aladdin takes Jasmine on a carpet ride. It's really impressive and you can see why it's my favorite of the bunch. You just drop it right on and it does most of the work right away without you having to touch a thing. I know that I yelled at you guys a lot last week. What? I will, but that was out of desperation. They said that I have one more chance to get you to use domain.com. I will in a second, but it is my last chance. So get a domain and save a Josh. 
Domain.com has all your website needs, including .com and .net domain names and intuitive website builders. They're affordable, reliable, and have all the tools you need to build a new website. Start sharing your ideas on a world on a professional website. Stop flipping it! I will. Read it! I will. Look at it! No domain extensions will help you tell your story like a .com or a .net domain name. Smile! And if you read yourself... <laughs> Domain.com has over 300 domain extensions to fit your needs from a dot .cloud to a dot .space. The guys at Domain.com want to show you some love by giving you 15% off their already affordable prices. Buy domain names, web hosting, and email when you use the coupon code FILMRIOT. Domain.com's checkout. So when you think domain names, think Domain.com. And I think I'm being held in the back of a pizza hut. Please come help me very quick. So we fixed a few common audio problems already, thanks to Josh's example. So let's dive back in to see what we have next. <laughs> that worked out so much better than I... Wait, Ryan, no, stop. Wait, hold on. Go to the next clip. There's another clip I did another one. It was just a joke. Go to the next one. Ryan, can you fix this? This is too loud. So in this clip, Josh's audio is unpleasantly harsh, but if we throw on the declipping plugin here, right off the bat, without touching anything, it is helping a lot. You still have that aggressive feel, but it doesn't have as much of that awfully harsh sound. Ryan, can you fix this? This is too loud! So it's compressing that down and attempting to repair those clipped areas, but let's move on again. Nope, moving on again to the next Ryan, clip. Just Video. No! Just play it. Absolutely! Just play it. There's Just not a chance it. in hell Just I'm playing play the video! Just play it! And moving on to the next clip. I am your god, and Ryan is my bitch. Well, we'll see if we can make Josh slightly less obnoxious. Again, with a clip like this, the reverb is heavy enough that I don't know that we're gonna be able to use the plugin to take it all out, but we'll see if we can pull it back enough to make this more usable. So we're gonna drop on reverb remover, leave it at the preset, and... I am your god, and Ryan is... And I think we could actually take this a little bit further. Again, using that one knob approach, and... I am your god, and Ryan is my bitch. So there you have it. It does a really solid job of reducing that reverb. And I've shot in a lot of areas like open warehouses where the reverb really made the audio rough. So dropping something like this on there to pull that reverb down and focus on the voice a lot more is a godsend, especially since these are so simple to use. But moving on again to our next clip. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. So here we have some obnoxious S sounds. This is a killer for me. I really hate when you have that shrill S, which is usually pushed up when you add on your processing with EQ and compressors. So we're gonna add on our DSer here. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. And again, right out of the gate, it's doing its work. Of course, like the others, we can increase the amount by messing with the processing knob, taking that down even more. And down here, you can again see where the plugin is doing its work, pulling down those higher frequencies that are stabbing us directly in the ear hole. So if I take it off, Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Horrible. And when we put it back on, Sally sells seashells by the seashore. And that is much, much better, but obviously the key is to record the best sound you possibly can on the day, taking time to make sure you're getting as quiet of an environment as you can and correct mic placement. But things happen often. And the whole one button approach that Accusonos takes is so great because if you're new to sound, they make it incredibly easy to get pro results. And if you are a professional, they make it incredibly fast to do some standard things. So as it turns out, the ERA4 bundle is a little bit more badass than the last bundle that I had. And it's perfect from everything from film work to podcasts. So definitely check it out in the links below. You can check it out for yourself, including the free fully functional trials. Try it out and see what you think. But that is it for today until next time don't forget to write shoot edit repeat you 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 it's actually legitimately funny and champagne <laughs>